Mara Barbosa. And I'm Anna Witte. This is a Penn State Today QuickCast. Pennsylvania's primary election is less than four weeks away, and Penn State will host a forum with the top three candidates seeking the Democratic nomination for the U.S. Senate in Pennsylvania. The event is Saturday, April 9th. It will be broadcast live from WPSU-TV at Innovation Park at 8 p.m. The forum is by invitation only. A week after the tragic events that took place in Brussels, the Penn State community held a candlelight vigil. In honor of those affected by tragedy, students Brandon Sullivan and Hope Schmid created the event to express the sense of community during these sad times. Sophomore Kayla Hanlon said she felt it was important to support those who lose their loved ones during these events. I think it's important to have a community that uh, comes out and supports the people that did have people that were in it, the attacks. NASA selected a group of Penn State students and faculty to build a device that will be able to find exoplanets in our solar system. The device they're building will detect small movements in stars that prove the existence of nearby planets. The team leader said NASA's decision shows that Penn State's astronomy department is leading the pack. It's a testament to uh, the work we have done before, and it's, it's also a sign of confidence, both in Penn State and in Penn State researchers and Penn State students. Big Ten Network anchor David Revzine will speak at Penn State on April 17th. He will be the latest guest in the conversation series for the John Curley Center for Sports Journalism. John Affleck, the Curley Center's director, says these discussions allow students to learn from the best in the business. Its purpose is to examine issues in sports and culture, and sometimes sports and culture, and to uh, interview people who are prominent in the industry. The College of Earth and Mineral Science has added a new and interactive exhibit at their EMS Museum and Art Gallery that lets students learn hands-on. The exhibit uses a reality sandbox that shows a topographical map by using a Microsoft Xbox Connect sensor. The map shows changes and even assimilates to your hands by making clouds and rain. The college hopes the museum gets people to appreciate and understand science. That's all for this Penn State Today Quick Cast. For more, go to our website, commedia.psu.edu, to see student-produced news from the College of Communications. Have a great day.